Welcome to Anciency, where we take you on a journey through the mysteries of history. Today, we're exploring the enigmatic and fascinating land of Hungary. With a history that dates back to the mysterious Magyar people, Hungary has seen centuries of power struggles, invasions, and revolutions, leaving behind a rich tapestry of legends and secrets waiting to be uncovered. From the stunning castles of the medieval kings to the scars left by the Ottoman Empire and Soviet occupation, Hungary's history is full of intrigue and mystery. So join us as we unravel the secrets of Hungary's past and discover the hidden treasures of this ancient land. Hungary, a landlocked country in Central Europe, has a rich and complex history that spans over a thousand years. From the founding of the Hungarian state by the Magyars in the 9th century to its current position as a member of the European Union, Hungary has undergone numerous changes and transformations. In this brief history, we will explore the key events and people that have shaped Hungary's past and present. Chapter 1, The Early Years The history of Hungary begins with the arrival of the Magyars, a nomadic people from the east, who migrated into the Carpathian Basin in the late 9th century. Led by their chief Arpad, they established the Hungarian state and began to settle in the region. The early years of the Hungarian state were marked by political consolidation and expansion. The Magyars, who were originally a collection of tribes, came together under the leadership of Arpad and formed a unified state. They began to expand their territory through a series of wars and conquests, eventually establishing a kingdom that encompassed much of what is now modern-day Hungary. Under the rule of King Stephen I, who was crowned in 1000 AD, Hungary became a Christian kingdom and developed a strong political and cultural identity. Stephen I is regarded as the founder of the Hungarian state and is venerated as a saint in the Catholic Church. Throughout the medieval period, Hungary continued to expand its territory and influence. It became a major power in Central Europe and played a significant role in the Crusades, as well as in the wars against the Ottoman Turks who threatened to invade from the south. However, Hungary's power and influence declined in the 16th century due to a series of defeats at the hands of the Ottoman Empire. In 1526, the Hungarian army was defeated at the Battle of Mohac, which led to the division of the country into three parts and a period of Ottoman rule that lasted over a century. Despite these setbacks, Hungary's early years laid the foundations for a rich and complex cultural and political identity that continues to shape the country to this day. Chapter 2, The Habsburg Era and the Struggle for Independence In the 18th and 19th centuries, Hungary was ruled by the Habsburg dynasty as part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. While the empire granted Hungary a degree of autonomy, the relationship between the Habsburgs and the Hungarians was often fraught with tension. In 1848, Hungarians rebelled against Habsburg rule in a bid for independence. The revolution was led by Lajos Kossuth, who called for a constitutional monarchy and greater political freedom. The revolution was initially successful, and Kossuth was briefly appointed as the leader of the country. However, the Habsburgs were able to regain control with the help of Russian intervention, and the revolution was ultimately crushed. Despite the failure of the revolution, it paved the way for greater political and social change in Hungary. The Compromise of 1867, also known as the Ausgleich, was signed between Hungary and the Habsburgs, granting Hungary a greater degree of autonomy within the empire. Hungary was allowed to have its own parliament, government, and legal system, and its own currency and army. Under the Compromise, Hungary experienced a period of rapid economic and cultural growth, with Budapest becoming a major cultural and intellectual center. However, tensions between the Hungarians and other ethnic groups within the empire continued to simmer, and calls for greater independence grew louder. In the early 20th century, Hungary continued to play a major role in the politics of Central Europe. It was a member of the Central Powers during World War I and suffered significant territorial losses as a result of its defeat. In the aftermath of the war, Hungary became a republic, but the interwar years were marked by political instability and economic hardship. In 1941, Hungary joined the Axis powers and participated in the invasion of the Soviet Union. However, as the war turned against the Axis powers, Hungary began to negotiate with the Allies. In 1944, the country was occupied by German forces, and thousands of Hungarian Jews were deported to concentration camps. After the fall of Nazi Germany, Hungary was occupied by the Soviet Union and became a communist state under Soviet influence. The Hungarian Revolution of 1956 was an attempt to overthrow Soviet domination and establish a democratic government. The revolution was brutally suppressed by Soviet troops, but it marked a turning point in the struggle for Hungarian independence and freedom. Today, Hungary remains a parliamentary democracy and a member of the European Union. Its history of struggle and perseverance has made it a unique and important player in the politics and culture of Central Europe. Chapter 3, Hungary in the Post-Communist Era. In 1989, 
Hungary held its first free elections in over 40 years, marking the end of communist rule and the beginning of a new era in Hungarian history. The country underwent a period of political and economic transition, as it sought to establish a market-based economy and develop its democratic institutions. In the early 1990s, Hungary faced significant economic challenges as it tried to transition from a planned economy to a market-based system. The government implemented a range of economic reforms, including privatization of state-owned industries and a reduction in subsidies for inefficient businesses. These reforms led to a period of economic growth and increased foreign investment, but also resulted in high levels of unemployment and social inequality. In 1999, Hungary joined NATO, and in 2004, it became a member of the European Union. These memberships brought increased political stability and economic opportunities for Hungary, but also led to tensions between the government and EU institutions over issues such as migration and the rule of law. In recent years, Hungary has been led by Viktor Orban and his Fidesz party, which has pursued a controversial agenda that has been criticized for undermining democratic institutions and civil liberties. The government has passed laws that restrict the media, limit the powers of the judiciary, and curtail the rights of refugees and immigrants. These policies have led to tensions with the EU and sparked protests within Hungary. However, Orban's government has remained popular with many Hungarians, who view him as a strong leader who is standing up for the country's interests. Despite these challenges, Hungary remains a vibrant and dynamic country with a rich cultural heritage and a diverse population. It continues to play an important role in the politics and economics of Central Europe, and its history of struggle and resilience serves as a source of inspiration for its people. Chapter 4, Hungary Today, Politics, Economy, and Society Hungary today is a parliamentary republic with a multi-party system and a president as the head of state. The prime minister is the head of government and is appointed by the president based on the support of the parliament. The current prime minister of Hungary is Viktor Orban, who has been in power since 2010. His Fidesz party won a two-thirds majority in the National Assembly, allowing them to make sweeping changes to the country's political and legal systems. Orban's government has pursued an agenda of a liberal democracy, which emphasizes strong central leadership, national sovereignty, and traditional values. This approach has been criticized by some as anti-democratic and authoritarian, but it has also been popular with many Hungarians who view it as a necessary response to the challenges facing the country. Hungary's economy is a mixed economy with a strong emphasis on exports. The country has a well-developed automotive industry, as well as a growing tech sector. Hungary has been a member of the European Union since 2004, and EU membership has been a major driver of economic growth and development. However, the Hungarian economy has faced a number of challenges in recent years, including a high level of public debt, a shortage of skilled labor, and a growing wealth gap. The government has responded with a range of economic policies, including tax cuts and investment in education and infrastructure. In terms of society, Hungary is a diverse country with a rich cultural heritage. The country has a sizable Roma population, as well as significant numbers of ethnic Germans, Slovaks, and other minorities. The Hungarian government has been criticized for its treatment of these minorities, particularly the Roma, who face significant social and economic barriers. Hungary is also grappling with demographic challenges, including an aging population and low birth rate. The government has implemented a range of policies to encourage families to have more children, including financial incentives and support for childcare. In conclusion, Hungary today is a country that is grappling with a range of political, economic, and social challenges. While the government's approach to these challenges has been controversial, there is no doubt that Hungary remains an important player in the politics and economics of Central Europe, and a country with a rich cultural heritage and a unique place in European history. Hungary has a rich cultural heritage that spans centuries. From music to literature, from architecture to fine art, Hungarian culture is diverse, vibrant, and unique. One of the most famous aspects of Hungarian culture is its music. Hungarian folk music is renowned for its complex rhythms, unique scales, and soulful melodies. The country's most famous composer is Béla Bartók, who is known for his incorporation of Hungarian folk music into his classical compositions. Hungarian pop music is also popular, with singers such as András Kalle Saunders and Bai Alex gaining international recognition. Literature is also an important part of Hungarian culture. The country has produced numerous acclaimed writers, including Imre Kertész, who won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 2002. Other famous Hungarian writers include Sándor Márai, Petr Esterházy, and Magda Szabó. Hungarian architecture is another aspect of the country's cultural heritage. Budapest, the capital city, is known for its stunning architecture, with buildings ranging from Gothic to Art Nouveau to modern. The city's most famous landmark is the Hungarian Parliament Building 
a stunning example of neo-Gothic architecture. Fine art is also an important part of Hungarian culture, with artists such as Laszlo Maholinaj and Victor Vazarelli gaining international recognition. The Hungarian National Gallery in Budapest showcases the country's rich artistic heritage, with collections ranging from medieval art to contemporary works. Hungary is also known for its culinary traditions, with dishes such as goulash, chimney cake, and langos gaining popularity around the world. The country's wine industry is also thriving, with regions such as Tokai and Vilanya producing some of Europe's best wines. In addition to these artistic and culinary traditions, Hungary also has a rich history and heritage. The country has been inhabited by various ethnic groups throughout its history, including Celts, Romans, and Huns. Hungary was also a major player in medieval Europe, with the Kingdom of Hungary playing a prominent role in the Crusades and other major events. Overall, Hungarian culture and heritage is a unique and diverse mix of influences, ranging from its ancient history to its modern artistic expressions. Hungary's cultural traditions continue to thrive and inspire people around the world, and serve as a source of pride for the Hungarian people. In conclusion, Hungary has a rich history, vibrant culture, and stunning natural beauty that make it a unique and fascinating country to explore. From the ancient architecture of Budapest to the rolling hills of the countryside, Hungary offers a wide range of experiences for visitors to enjoy. While Hungary faces some challenges, such as democratic governance and economic inequality, the country's strong economic fundamentals and strategic location in Central Europe position it well for future growth and development. Whether you are interested in exploring the country's rich history and cultural heritage or simply taking in the natural beauty of its countryside, Hungary has something to offer for everyone. So if you are planning your next trip, consider adding Hungary to your list of must-visit destinations.